What if someone paid Sulik's damages? Meta says, I don't know why anyone would want to pay off his debt, but they could. His bill comes at $350, but you wouldn't want to do that. He'll only get into trouble again. Well, Meta, I'm sure he must be happy working for you folks, but I still want to pay his damages. I don't think anyone should be trapped the way he is. She says, well, okay then. If you really want to pay for the damage he caused, I guess all you tribals really stick together. Yes, I do. I have enough money to pay for the damages that he caused. She says, you must be crazy. I'll sure be glad to have that, <laughs> that dang tribal away from here. <laughs> well, somehow I think Sulik might actually miss being here, but we'll be back to visit sometime, I'm sure. Right now, though, I need something. I actually don't need something. We be here. Hey, tell me about yourself, Sulik. We and I be glad to answer. Would you like to come with me? We might be able to find your sister in the course of my travels. We're there. Grandpa Bones say we might find sis with you. Man, I hope so. In any case, it'll be nice to travel with you and, uh, your grandfather's bone. Not just Grandpa Bone, all tribe spirits. Grandpa Bone just wiser and stronger than the rest. Let's ease on down. Uh, yeah. Okay, Sulik. Awesome! Sulik's in our party now. What you be need? So can you consult the spirits for me? This is what I was talking about earlier. The spirits are sometimes hard to understand. They see things you and we can't. What do they tell you about this place? Bad spirit under something snaps. Not sure what that mean. Okay, thanks. What you be needing? Uh, all right. So I can check out Sulik's gear through combat control. Tell him to use best weapon, which is his sledgehammer. He's, he comes with a leather jacket, so I'm having him equip that. Um, and then I can have him have a disposition, which is, you know, choosing a, a combat strat. He's got, like, double the HP of me, by the way. Um, but, or I can choose custom and let him know when to do certain things. So run away, um, wouldn't need a tourniquet. That's good. Weapon preference, melee then ranged, makes sense. Distance. Um, on your own, or stay close to me. I'll, I'll pick stay close to me, because that's important. Um, I need to be in high-fiving range. That's, that's always the best range when it comes to combat and, and having a character, for me personally. Always be in high-fiving range. Um, attack whomever is attacking me. And use stim packs when you hurt a lot. Boom. Done. Okay. This wasn't an option in Fallout 1. You couldn't go into the, the nitty-gritty with your, with your companions and tell them specifically what to do in different situations. Nice little uh, improvement there, for sure. I don't know why Sulik isn't happy, like, happy looking at me, though. Um, disappointing. Maybe, maybe it's because I didn't do, do the, the payment with him and instead with Meta. So now, me and my bro Solik can go on an adventure. Maybe to the trapping grounds, perhaps? And I finally double-checked to, like, recall who I'm supposed to talk to, but also, I want to check the message board really quick. Because it said that somebody here needed help with the booze, and I didn't read it. It says, booze, got your attention, didn't I? Bum leg prevents business. Needing help refueling still. Speedy and reliable type needed to see Whiskey Bob over at Ma Buckner's place. See, if I had actually read this instead of just summarizing all of them, uh, I would have realized where Whiskey Bob is. <laughs> That's all the info I need for now. So, in Ma Buckner's, there is one gentleman who happens to look just like Slim Pickett from Trapper Town. But his name is Whiskey Bob. He says, Howdy, stranger. My name's Whiskey Bob. What's yours? My name's Kato. Nice to meet you, Whiskey Bob. He says, Always nice to find another drinking buddy. Want to buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. Sure, Bob. I don't mind one bit. He replies, Thanks for the drink, partner. Now that my whistle's wet, I feel I can spare a little problem I have. Hey, maybe you can help me out? If it won't take too long, I guess I could help you for a price, of course. 
He says, now then, it's not going to take you too long, and it's not too dangerous at all. Probably. You want to hear about it or not? All right, tell me about it. Whiskey Bob says, well, you see, I have a little side business that I need some help attending to. I have a moonshine still outside of town that needs to be fueled up every so often. Since a gecko done bit my leg, I can't hobble out to it before it runs out of fuel. If I tell you where it is, would you refuel it for me? It's worth $50 to me. Eh, that doesn't sound too bad. Tell me more. Bob says, all you need to do is find a little shack just south of town. Go outside and dump some firewood into the still. Then come back here and I'll give you your money. But it needs to be done within the next day or my batch of hooch will go bad. $50 doesn't sound like nearly enough for a job like that. He says, nice try there, but $50 all the jobs are worth to me. Heck, I can't afford to pay any more. All right, I'll do it. Okay, he's giving me directions again. I'll do it. No problem, Bob. See you in a day. Okay. Hey, the dog wasn't proper in the way. So is Sulik following me? Are we on our way? What you be needing? I need to talk what about distance. What distance you need us at? Uh, stay close to me. We and I stay close if you promise to buy soap in next town. Wow, okay. All right. Hey, we're both dusty and dirty fools. But that's fine. I'm getting the hit. Okay. Let's go to the trapping ground, shall we? And possibly get murdered by golden geckos. I don't think I've ever been to the trapping grounds without... Or with a companion. I think I always went went to them solo. Which makes things a heck of a lot easier. We... Well, heck. I, I don't... I don't know if I should kill all the geckos because I haven't saved Smiley yet. And I don't know how to skin them. And their corpses definitely won't be here when I go save him. One thing at a time, Kato. Go for the head. Cripple. Oh, yeah. Little Gecko is critically hit in the head for 12 hit points. The damaging attack knocks him unconscious. This Gecko's down for the count. That's free groin punches. It's dead. <laughs> Little Gecko is critically hit in the groin for 12 hit points. The pain is too much for him, and he collapses like a rag. Amazing. Amazing. I actually got some new flavor text, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, so we're going to vary things up a little bit. You establish that I can punch things in the groin, but I can also punch things in the head, which has a KO chance that's higher than the groin. So, oh, it's a tough little gecko. Was critically hit in the head for 17 hit points. The damaging attack knocks him unconscious. And then turn. Nope, nope. Go back into combat. It ends combat because it can't do anything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Groin punch. There we go. Thanks, Sulik. Thanks for the, thanks for the follow-up. Okay, what's our... What are our uh, stats at here? Okay, we're actually not far from level 4. And I think when you have a companion in your team, whenever you level up, they have a chance of leveling up as well. Which is pretty cool. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is try to avoid as many of the geckos as I can. But they are they are all over where this still is. So I don't know how well this is going to go. I might have to take out some more gecko geckos along the way. Or not. Or not. I'll just, uh, you know, be smart about it and not be in their line of sight. There we go. Oh, but there's a golden one down there. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep. That one saw me. Oh, dear. I only have three AP. Punch! So, like, help! <laughs> right in the head? Oh, it's... Whoa, it's got a high AC. Yeah, that's higher than usual. We might have to go standard attacks. Ah! Ah! 
It concerns me so much. Okay, so this is why you bring Sulik in your party, right? He does the um, the thrust attack with his... Not with his pelvis. To get your mind out of the gutter. With, with his hammer. And it generally can knock enemies down. And sometimes they just stay on the ground. Um, he's very good at, like, clearing... Clearing out... Um, enemies in the area. And when they are on the ground... You get a massive bonus. I think it's like 50%? It's really high compared to when I was first trying to hit this gecko. So I'm now going to punch it in the groin and it's dead. <laughs> yeah, Sulik critically hit the gecko for 29 hit points. Good lord. Bring Sulik, everybody. He's a beast. A beast in the form of a man with a hammer who talks to spirits. Tells you about your destiny. Tells you you need to buy some soap. What else? It, he's he's the good kind of friend that, le that lets you know when when you're when you're getting a little smelly. That's a true friend, I think. Okay, so I think I can get to the still. Ah, never mind. Yeah, the the wood is in here. To feed it. Um, part of me just wants to rush ahead. Because I think I do get a full turn. Yeah. It's still generous at this point of the game. Like, you get a full turn! Down right away! Ah! Six hit points. Man, I'm doing so good without any knuckles yet damage-wise. I'm pretty happy about this. Imagine when I get some spike knuckles. How it's gonna go. Let alone a power fist. There's the door! Okay, so here's the still. Uh, here's the wood. Here's a booze! Gotta pick up the booze. And then we... Throw the wood in the still. Boom. It sounds as though the hooch in, is distilling nicely nicely now. You gain 100 XP for refueling the still. Now I must leave and return to Whiskey Bob. And then Sulik and I are going to go find Smiley. That's the next thing we should probably do. I think. And then we'll come back here and skin the geckos. Gotta start working that economy, right? Gotta, gotta jumpstart it. Be like, well, all the trappers are being super lazy because of the rat problem. At least that's their excuse. The The trapping grounds were totally free of rats, but there was no trappers that I saw. <laughs> In fact, Whiskey Pop got his leg bit by one of the geckos. I have a feeling that's a reason for, for the, you know, the trappers to come help. Whiskey Pop. He says, thanks for refilling the still for me. Here's your $50. Got questions that I can answer for you? Uh, no thanks, Bob. I think I know what I need already, need to already. Bob says, well, mister, maybe I'll be seeing you around here later. Bye. Okay. So, something really cool that I learned. Oh, I'm so close to level two. It's like 15, <laughs> 15 XP till next level. Something I learned about the karma in the classic Fallout games. I don't know if this is true. Like, it's not even shown in the wiki. However, I have the Fallout 2 strategy guide. I'll bring up a picture of it. And the page that I'm referring to. Karma, depending on what your karma rank is, either positive or negative, can carry a bonus according to the strategy guide. I don't know if this is true, but we're going to try and find out as we're playing the game. Since I'm going to be a positive karma character, once I hit 500, I'm at 145 right now, I should be getting a plus two to armor class, as well as 10 points to reaction by NPCs. Uh, the reaction thing is hard to measure because like, you don't know what the actual number is for that. But AP, or I mean AC, sorry, AC, you can measure just by looking at your AC. Um, and I think, whoops, and I think, uh, yeah, it'll show right here, too. My armor class is 25. 
if I take off my armor, my current flat armor class is 10. So, if I get to the 500 karma point and have 12 armor class, then that'll show me that the karma bonus actually works. Which will be awesome. And the strategy guide is the only place where I've seen this information. <laughs> This is the official strategy guide, too, by one of the lead designers when uh, in Black Isle, like, way back in the day. It was released, like, shortly after the release of the game, if not, like, right after the release. So, just a fun little tidbit, something to look forward to that we can all find out together, right? Negative karma does come with bonuses, too, by the way. You just have to be an evil piece of crap to the people in the wasteland and possibly burn bridges with NPCs and cut yourself out of other quests, which may not be a good idea. So the next thing we have to do is go save Smiling. I think that's all we have left, honestly. You can look at your your status. Yeah, uh, this is essentially your quest log. It's not super amazing <laughs> for when it comes to quest tracking, but this is what we get. Um. And it just says rescue Smiley the Trapper. So we go outside. We already know that Arden gave us the location of the Toxic Caves. They are called the Toxic Caves, not the Gecko Caves, not the Glowing Caves. The Toxic Caves. I was close. They glow anyway. There's Toxic Goo. It glows. <laughs> Get off my back about the name. It was. Just, it's just me. It's just me on my own back about the name. Uh... And there's geckos in here, too. That we can come back and skin once Smiley teaches us the ways of the gecko hunter man. Get him, Sulik! You and me be watching all the blood fly now, is what he says. Well, we have to actually hit them. I have to actually hit them. You're hitting them just fine, Sulik, because you're a, a absolute monster with a sledgehammer. 29 hit points, knocked it unconscious, and killed it. All at the same time. Sulik is a beast. I need to catch up with him damage-wise. <laughs> but we leveled up. We're at level 4 now. Um, I don't think there's going to be any other situations soon enough that'll train me up in unarmed skill. So I think I'm going to just, like, get it up to... Um, what, does it, what does it start? Double costing? After 102, I think. Yeah. Um, maximum for skills in Fallout 2, I think, is two, uh, 300. I kind of want to start jacking up Outdoorsmen because we're going to be traveling the map a lot in these first few areas. So we'll at least, at least bring that up to 30. We'll use up all our points. Why not? Level 4, not having to worry about much when our unarmed is at 104. At least I hope. I think. <laughs> Here's my kill count, by the way. This is all the things I've killed so far. The game does keep record of that. I can't remember if I did it in the Fallout... Uh, Fallout 1 playthrough or not. But I, I'm pretty sure at some point I showed people how to like create more than 10 save slots. Because in... In this game, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, yeah, you have 10. You have 10 save slots, but you can give yourself more. Um, and I'll just run you, run you through that actually right now. Uh, so you can go into the game's files and go into data, save game, and you can see, like, your save game file. What I tend to do is just make a copy of that and then delete everything except for the, the main ones that I'm saving in, which is the bottom two. So then I have these all clear to add more saves and more locations. Um, most people don't need to do this, but if you're somebody making a Let's Play who needs to ensure that they've got, you know, saved spots of locations just in case, you know, we're doing a guide later or something like that or, or I get a, a wild idea that I need to test out, I already have those saves. So that's that's just a just a quick rundown on that. And we're about to get nommed by a golden gecko, so I should probably pay attention to that, huh? Oh, it just... Come on. Come on. Come at me. 
Bear in mind, this is maximum combat speed. <laughs> Groin! Oh, I knocked it over. <laughs> Golden Gecko was critically hit in the groin for 16 hit points, damaging its breathing ability. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is what I was trying to do to Cameron the whole time. I was trying to knock the wind out of his lungs by punching him in the groin hard enough. But I, I have a feeling this, this Gecko is not feeling too good. I have a feeling the feeling is not happy. <laughs> I damaged its breathing ability again. Why are you on the ground, Gecko? Oh, nope, we're getting back into combat. Here we go. It <laughs> dropped us out of combat again because it was <laughs> it was unconscious. Special thanks to Wasteland Legends, Sven, and the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm Kato Genesis. May you wander the wasteland like you own it.